asked where do you see yourself in 10 years? Probably many times. But what about where were you 10 years ago? We have a habit of going forward, which sometimes stops us from appreciating our past. But our past has a great power to empower, empower us in present and motivate our future. So before I answer the question where I see myself in 10 years, let's go back 10 years ago when I was graduating from high school and I was looking for my uh, future career. I liked math, I liked physics, social sciences. I had all those tools, but I didn't know what I wanted to make. Um, in the magazine, I was looking for programs and uh, colleges, and I found electrical engineering in the list. And I didn't know what electrical engineering was. That got me thinking, so I started to remember some moments from my childhood. I remembered my uncle was soldering, and smell of the soldering mask got my attention. I wanted to try soldering myself. His reply was, it's not for girls. Time passed, uh, computers started to boom in Georgia. My father got one for our family, and I was so curious to know what was inside it, how it was working, how it was built, and whoever I asked the question gave me a very vague answer, and they didn't want it to spend time on explaining to me. The reason was same and simple. They didn't want it to waste time on explaining to a girl what, what men's work was. Georgia is a country where you can clearly see the differentiation what men's and women's work are. For example, literature, human science, history is meant for women. Meanwhile, mass architecture, engineering is more suitable for guys. Stereotypes are so obvious, it gets to young generations and their decision of career choices. Um, Young girls are convinced they can't succeed in, elect in any technical fields because they're told that there's a difference how men's and women's brains are wired, how different we think, and that's why they just accept that. From my experience, engineering is not for, meant for one set of brain. It requires bright ideas, variety of um, ideas, experience, and all that brings these girls together. When I was a kid, I never understood why I was told engineering was not for me and I couldn't do it. That was the reason why I decided to apply for electrical engineering program. I wanted to learn why I was told I couldn't do men's work. In my first class, it was about introduction to electrical engineering I felt that first time somebody cared enough to explain to me what electrical engineering was. And I was fascinated. That's the time when I decided that's what I wanted to do for my rest of the life as my career. According to uh, Georgia National Statistics, the, uh, the ratio between men and women who applied for any disciplines of engineering is by 80 by 20 percent. And this is from 2013 statistical data. Uh, in my first uh, year of school, there was five girls enrolled out of 50 students in electrical engineering program. It was not easy to survive in a group of um, dominated by males. I remember I used to jump on every hands-on experience that I could get to convince that myself that I was able to do men's work. I spent my four years struggling and convincing others and myself that I was able to become an engineer. After graduation, this is me graduating from um, uh, electrical engineering with an electrical engineering degree, and. Um, at that time, I already knew what my passion was, what I wanted to do, but I wanted to pursue my uh, future career somewhere where I didn't have to struggle and prove myself every st step of the um, career progress. Um, so I applied to Missouri s and for my graduated program. 
I was accepted. And it was not easy step to move to a totally different country um, where it's a totally different culture, everything new, away from the family, and just me uh, in a, against the whole world. So um, I was lucky enough to come here. I, I had great opportunities. Uh, I, were, I had great support from my professors and colleagues. And I, I was able to concentrate on building my career as an engineer. I remember first time I created Gmail account. First time I held iPad. First time seeing Intel and IBM written on the black chips in the computer. All those things seemed unreachable. During my graduate school, I was able to work next to those great companies, next to an amazing smart engineers who made those products. 10 years back, I couldn't have even dreamed of this. Life is full of surprises, and sometimes when we hit a wall, we stand still and look for solutions. And that when happens to me, I look back for the walls I have crushed. And knowing that I have overcome some problems helps me to be hopeful for the future. My past is my motivation. I would like you to take a second and think of your achievements. Take a pause, think of your accomplishments, problem that you have overcome. This is who I was, this is who I am at this stage, and in 10 years, I would like to be somewhere and someone who I can't even dream of. Thank you.